Hey guys and welcome back to No Man's Sky where we have learnt the stellar secret, the path to the stars. We have built our hyperdrive and we have even learnt the means to produce the fuel for such a power. But we're a little short of some stuff to make the uh, the antimatter. We actually need some thorium, thorium. Uh, like it looks like it's spelt thorium, but like there's real world thorium, which like I know is like a super good um, nuclear fuel and stuff. These fascination beads. I don't know what they're gonna do for me. So I thought I'd have a look around this little campsite here and do what you do in every game and just rob them blind. This is not thorium. Thorium nine. Uh, these things like these these give isotopes. Plutonium, not not the best, not the best. Okay, so what's gonna have to happen now is we're gonna have a little cut while I go and find some stuff. Oh Matt, I totally forgot this was part of my life now. Look, let's let's take a moment to have a look at this. So we've got the beam intensifier and the mining beam. So I think we need to put an offensive weapon on this. I don't know about you guys. The bolt caster was pretty good. Uh, beam focus, no, the accelerated reloading though, yes. Okay, so let's start with the bolt caster. Boom! Straight on there. Uh, we can do all sorts of stuff now. The reload acceleration, I think, is the one we're going to go for. Did you guys... Oh, look. Something landed. Hey, over there. Officer Quinaya. Quinya? Quinya. Oh, he's one of these guys. I still haven't quite figured out. Oh, he's a Vicreen, right? He called, They always call me an interloper, and I'm like, hey, you shouldn't build your fences so low that I can jump over them. Let's see what we can sell to this guy. Do you want some um, shielding plate? Good man. I really want to sell this guy this fascination bead. Oh, there we go. It's gone. Oh, 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 oh. He's got some for sale. Let's buy it all. Let's, let's spend some of these credits that are going... How, is there an easier way of going up here? Ah, I can just press and hold. Okay. Okay, so now that we've uh, bought some stuff from our friend over there, I think it's time... Well, one, we got back in our ship, so we're not just always tripping on this acid around here. And... Oh! What, what have I accomplished now? You know, I'm really starting to get a little bit... Oh, we earned some money. Okay, I suppose, yeah, that's a bit better. But I'm earning these milestones, like one every two minutes or so. Like, are people's attention spans really that short? I mean, I know, yes, there's the answer there. Okay, let's do this. We've got the antimatter there. We need to craft a product. What are we crafting? It is, of course, the warp cell. Ah, oh, amazing, just like that. And then we can charge up the hyperdrive. Ah, oh, amazing. Are we going to go somewhere where thorium's, thorium thorium, is a little bit easier to find than here? Uh, yes, I think we are. But first, I would like to go and trade a whole load of this stuff out if we can. The the Radnox and the... Oh, where did all the other stuff go? I'm looking in the wrong inventory. The uh, Geknik, the Gek Charm, the Fascination Beat. Let's just go see if this guy can buy some stuff off me. Oh, I'm an ally with him now. How did this? He still calls me an interloper. What I'm trying to see. Request healing or shield charge. No, this guy's not a trader. Oh, that's unfortunate. Does he have a trade? Hey, hey, hey. Don't you just come in here scanning me like that. What are you doing? Hey, you've not got a warrant or nothing, mate. You ain't got nothing on me. All right, trading outpost. Here it is, over this way. Buy my finest wares. Yeah, actually, he is buying a whole load of stuff off me. Power canister? Yeah, I think so. What else do we have? No, plutonium. I'm going to keep the Gek Charm. Get it off of me. Ah, oh, finally. Sold loads of that stuff that's just been eating up my inventory space. Ah, oh, what are these things? I think we're about to make our first unique discovery of the day. No analyzer visor. What? What? All right, let's let's do this. We need. To, is it part of our scanner? Is it part of this analyzer visor? <laughs> analyzer visor. Um, so, can we get one of these? We can. Give me, give me it. What are we going to call these? The Yakakrite Crea. Uh, yeah. The. Oh man, I, how do you even pronounce that many vowels together at once? How do you even? Well, blatantly, this is an ant dragon. How could it not be ant dragon? Yeah, we got some money. That's what it's all about. Look at these guys. Oh, oh, they want my iron. Take my iron. What, what are we gonna do here? Can we can we feed you up a bit more? Oh man, you're gonna be my friend. See, it looks like this guy really wants to be a riding mount. I would love if this guy could be a riding mount. I mean, is he supposed to be intelligent or just another animal? Um, I, there's never any way of finding out. I don't think. Wow, he's not speaking to me. I think that's supposed to be the distinction in game. 
Oh, this guy's found something for me. What have you got, buddy? What have you got? Have you pooped again? Have you pooped some substance? Man, that's all these guys seem to do. Oh, Chris and I have never had any of that before. I have learned the Viking word for warp. That's very useful. Speaking of warp, let's get off this planet. We have been here for a long time already. And I don't think we've really actually done that much, you know, other than get the fuel for my warp drive. Let's take off and go. Oh, hey there, buddy. Can we can we crash into you? Ah, oh, that would have been a good good test. What is this? Wait, we are not going anywhere. I've seen a new building I wish to land on. La I, I don't care if the landing area is not clear. I want to land on it. So it turns out I can land on these things. Ah, oh, it's so good. Look, there's some stuff I can steal here as well. What are we going to get from here? Power canister. And... Oh, fascination beads. We'll sell them inside, I'm sure. Plutonium for days, maybe. I mean, it might last us a couple of hours. Who knows? That said, plutonium has been lasting us. All right, let's go and have a look here. Is this just a trade outpost? It looks like it. Oh, maybe a, a spaceport of some description? It's a pretty port. Uh, hello, excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where I am? Oh, yes, and to you. Well, thank you. Corporal Tau interact yes I, I somehow managed to climb on top of this rail um, so you're a Vicreen as well and you also think that I am an interloper threatened to report the warrior is silent for a second before looking at me conspiratorially it looks behind to check for its colleagues before powering down security systems the warrior pulls open the trade valve at his feet which seems to be piled high with multi-tool upgrades into indicates the contents of my inventory as trade ah uh, i oh, i'm i'm not sure do we do we report i mean we upstanding citizens here or are we just gonna go yeah no no we're up we're upstanding citizens let's do it the threatened warrior buys my silence what did he give me some money or something oh hello jetpack boost uh, i can boost my jetpack well, we, we can do that at some point. We have not done any of that sort of stuff. Like, there's my there's my jetpack. Hold space to remove. Um, I mean, I say we've not done any of that. We just literally did some for the weapon here. I'm a little bit dubious about filling my slots here with enhancements. Because, you know, I need some uh, inventory space for doing trades and stuff. That's what I am here for. Toxic level stabilizing. Uh, I want to sell you some stuff. You know, the stuff I just sold from outside? Oh, this as well. Okay, well, that was fun. Let's get off to space. Oh, another milestone. What do you know? Is this one going to be for... Oh, meeting for... Did I meet a different alien? Oh, well, it was the same... Oh, I th I've always thought that one meant different races, but obviously not. Okay, let's get our way up and out of here. Oh, look, it's all blue. Are we, uh... Are we changing, like, nebula colours? Oh, no, here we go, into the reds. Okay, we are out and about. We have not fully explored this system, but I don't think I care that much. Let's move on, shall we, by pressing and holding M. All right, where are we going to go from here? I don't know, actually. Path towards Galactic Court. Look, I've got to go this way? Is that what you're saying? How far can I actually jump in one go? Too far to jump, I saw just down there. Yeah, too far to jump. Upgrade drive. So what about this one? Can we go here? So I can only jump one star at the moment. That is most uh, disappointing. All right, let's jump away. What new wonders are we going to see? What marvels greet us on the other side? We don't know because this bit takes forever. Ooh, 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 I've jumped in next to a space station. So close that I think that might be a little bit dangerous. Should we uh, go and see what they've got going over here? I mean, like, let's be honest. We only really want to make our way down to the planets to see what's going on. Whoa. Always a little bit dodgy at the angle we come in here. I'm not expecting anything too different from the other space stations. Well, we will see. So what do you reckon? Have they, like, condensed down a star to this single point and they use that to power the space station? That's what I do anyway, you know. All right, can we jetpack up and over? We can. Now, this way should be the trading center. Yeah, okay, so everything's kind of the same. Device. What can I do with the... Oh, shield at maximum. Well, it kind of already was. Is this a device I can interact with as well? It is. 
Shield at maximum. Oh, well, that's very nice of you to give me maximum shields. So, that was the station. What are we going to find out and around? So, we got, like, two planets. Oh, look. These guys just warped in. That's amazing. Should we go and check them out? I wanted to do a little bit of a scan, see if we can spot anything. The Atlas. Find us. Hear us. Okay, should we, should we do that, guys? That sounds like something we can do. It's all the way over there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Should we uh, check out these ships first? Because these look pretty cool. Let's uh, get our pulse drive going. Oh, wow. I didn't want to pulse quite that quick. Uh, guys? Nah, I've lost them. I can't believe it. I just jump away for two... What is this? Oh, that's the space station. There they are. There they are. Okay. I didn't think the space station was that yellow. So now can we... Uh, pulse drive without getting so fast probably not right super scared about jumping into an asteroid or something but there we go we're here let's try and stop about here let's have a look at this beauty shall we which faction does this belong to i don't know it's a reinforced container i'm not really looking to blow stuff up i am literally just here to have a look that looks like quite a nasty gun it's got underneath it as well, let's turn upside down so we can fly a little bit better. Um, not really seeing any wonders of technology here. Well, you know, other than the gun. Okay, let's head towards our monolith over there. Pow! No. Okay, coming out of warp. Oh, mainly because the planetary... Um, planetary interference got in my way okay we've steady out here uh we just got to wait until we get over there i presume we're losing speed because of the atmosphere but i'm going to keep holding down forwards as much as i can so we can get over there as quickly as possible still looking at about a minute though so there appears to be some levels of atmospheric drag here. If I look up a bit, you can see that my uh, engine speed, as indicated on the second panel to the left, is climbing. And if I go back down, it should start to drop again, which is very nice. We appear to be on some sort of cold planet, or at least the nighttime makes it look like it's all covered in ice. It'll be very interesting to get down and see exactly what we're being faced with here. But of course, trying to balance my engine speed. There we go. Let's stop here and nosedive as fast as possible. I kind of feel like I may have slightly hacked that atmospheric entry there. I don't feel like that was an intended behavior. But here we go, coming down nice and hot. I'm loving the purples around. This purple and red combination is gorgeous okay let's try and slow down enough to put down it's always hard to try and tell where i am i'm sure that radar helps an awful lot but i just i can't quite nail it ah oh, look i missed by quite a lot as well by the look of it report restore points oh well saved is what the word i was going for there uh planet alpenzagers you know what i think we might leave that one as that that's quite a nice but what is this thing Come closer, hear our words. Press E to commune with the uh, monolith. First thing we're doing, we're gonna, wow. Name the planet, Alpine Zaga, of course. I mean, why would it not be? Uh, and this this plant, this system name, it is a long one. Unsum Ullingwu. I'm gonna go with Unsung Sumo, blatantly. Woo, okay, that's that's pretty nice, that's good. That, that's very sweet, I'm loving it. Okay, Discovery's uploaded, giving me a whole load of money. Let's go and commune with the monolith here. How do I get in? Is there a way in? Uh, there doesn't appear to be a way in. Ah, tribute to Losfusser. Oh, that, that doesn't sound at all dodgy. Something that rhymes with Lucifer, hmm, who knows. The monolith stands sun on the planet's surface. It does not belong here, but then neither do I. There is a shimmer, and then the vision of the red orb returns. The Atlas. It speaks to me again. Again, I feel the half elation, half terror. I have met, met my creator. The Atlas offers me guidance, purpose, meaning, significance in an uncaring galaxy. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. Now, I'm not one for following the plans of like the social construct that have been laid out before me. I am, I am filled with the urge to run away and not bother, but you know, what would we do then? 
I see lines of code, strings of number, then bizarre structure. I feel sure convinced that greater powers await me if I travel to this distant place. The red orb disappears. I am left with a path to follow. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what that's all about. Um, oh, he hello over there, Mr. Officers. How are you doing? Let's get some knowledge. You have learned the Gek word for low. Like lowly interloper. What? More giant... Oh. I've had enough of these milestones, I really have. Can I t can I get a mod to turn them down? Um, like I know there's a few mods out there already that do some wonderful stuff. You've learned the geck for the word uncommon. Uh, and I may even get round to installing some shortly. The only reason I haven't is sheer laziness. Uh, we have learned the geck word for language. Let's climb this thing, shall we? Oh, I, did I go from under... <laughs> So, I suppose the plan now is to go out and try and charge up my warp drive again. Can I charge my way up here? Yes, brilliant. Haha, <laughs> nice. You can't get up here, copper. Uh, so, but I want to have a bit of a look around. Look at this beautiful place. Isn't it amazing? Like, maybe we should go around and have a look. There does appear to be some plant life out there. Can we uh, get, get our zoom on? What do we, what do we have? Plants. We we have some type of plants. We'll we'll try and figure out what's going on. Is like is there cave systems around? I don't know. I mean, what is going there? Let's go find out. Oh wow, guys! Look the 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 light plant. It looks different from the other light plants we've seen before. Oh my god! It's the museum idorium. That's definitely what we're going to call it. Let's let's do that. Ah, there are animals here. Who would have known? Who would have guessed? We had to come here and check to find out for sure. It's the Anutu Many Chewy. Ah, oh, you see, this is why I can't do people's names, right? I look at letters and I'm just like, what? Uh, we don't have the Hyderium. That's okay. I really don't mind. So what's going on in this bountiful land of flowers over here? Not a great deal. There's some more. Uh, these look like they should be light plants, but they're really not. Uh, and there are, are there any caves? I've not found any caves so far. Oh man, I'd really like to uh, befriend some of these guys. Well, I'm bored of this ice ball and everybody on it. Atlas tells us we have a path to follow in the stars, and so to the stars we shall go. 